in hindsight, I mean, it's a time I knew nothing about, but as an infant, I had TB. I got through that, which, to my mind, means that somebody was looking after me, and it's a phrase I've heard so many times. It was on the M6 a few years ago. It's got to be about, oh, well over 20 years ago now. I was quite happy driving along, and this wheel came bouncing across the carriageway. And uh, it totally smashed the front of the transit van I was in. And I found I couldn't move. But luckily I was just enough room to put my hand down between the legs, grab the lever, slide the seat back and shuffle sideways. Uh, not too much damage. Badly bruised legs to the extent that it was just soft tissue damage. I could stand up. The only thing I did do was break both my thumbs. The policeman says to me, oh, somebody's looking after you. Little did I realise at the time the significance of that. In retrospect, I now know that somebody was looking after me. And it really came to a head when I had my heart attack. Remembrance Sunday, 2020. And that morning I got to church. Didn't feel too good. I phoned Angela, who is, what, 10 minutes away. I said, look, I'm not feeling too good. I'm going to go to bed. She comes home, takes one look at me. Dials 999. Uh, medics turn up and they said there's a slight anomaly. But we'd like a second opinion. Are you okay, okay to go to hospital? Yeah, well, why not? We're in lockdown. It's a day out. Uh, got to hospital. Uh, straight into cardiology. The doctor starts talking to me. Um, and I must admit, this point, I'm starting to get a little bit worried. Uh, most of what he's saying is going over my head. Uh, and he explains that he's going to do something and go in and do some, make a repair. At this point, I am now starting to panic. Um, and I'll be honest... I'm screaming at him. I no, well, don't know if he's ready for me, but I'm not ready for him. Um, or I don't think I'm ready for him. They were me into the cath lab. And at that point, I just felt so calm. There was just over, overarching calmness. At this point, I don't know which way these are going to go. I mean, am I going to go back and see Angela again? Or am I going to go and meet him? I really don't know, but I just felt so calm and I actually felt as though none of the normal senses could sense him, but I really do believe he was there with me, looking after me at that point. And I've actually turned around and said afterwards, on that day, he saved me because he got something for me to do. Because I truly believe that when I go, I truly believe where I'm going. Um, I often read that passage in uh, Revelation. No more pain, no more tears, no more sorrow. The people you leave behind will probably have a certain amount of sorrow. Well, I'd hope so. Yeah. I don't know if it's selfish or not. But it sounds selfish, but I, I know that I'm going to that place. Um, so I have no fear of death. I'm not particularly keen on the idea of it being painful, as any of us would, but the idea of death now does not frighten me at all. <laughs>